very own half circle skirts. Now, what's the difference between this and a circle skirt, you ask? Well, you use half the amount of fabric. What I found with full circle skirts is that when you're wearing them out and about, and if there's like a little bit of breeze that day, your skirt just whoop, blows right up and you flash everyone. So you always have to wear them with shorts underneath and you have to hold it down all the time. So I've actually found that half circle skirts work a lot better and I actually like the shape of them a lot better. They're still quite full skirts, but they're not as big and dramatic as full circle skirts. So anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to make them today. So first things first, we need to make our pattern. Now these are the two pieces of fabric that you will need to cut out. First, we'll work on the skirt. So to make a pattern for the skirt, you'll first need to take some measurements. The first measurement is your waist, divided by pi, which is 3.14. As an example, my waist is 30 inches. Divide this by 3.14 and you get 9.55. So my first measurement is 9.55 inches. So I'm going to draw this out onto my pattern paper. From the corner of the paper, I'm first drawing a bunch of marks 9.55 inches out, then I connect those dots into a quarter circle that looks like this. Then you need to make an outer circle measurement. First, figure out how long you want your skirt to be. I want my skirt to be about 19 inches. Then subtract from this whatever width you're going to use from the waistband. I want a three inch waistband, so I subtract three inches, which gives me 16. Then add your inner circle measurement. Mine was 9.55, so this gives me a total of 25.55. You should also add about half an inch for the hem, so I'm just going to round this up to 26 inches. Then, also from the corner of my paper, I draw out this outer circle measurement. Then, I cut my pattern out. And it looks like this. Next, fold your fabric in half, right sides together. And yeah, I know the clothes I'm wearing are pretty weird here. They're my comfortable sewing clothes. Don't judge me. Now, place your pattern piece on the fabric with one straight edge on the fold of the fabric. Pin the piece of paper onto the fabric and then cut around your pattern. And when you unfold it, you should have this half circle shape. Now we also need to cut out a waistband from the remaining fabric. To make your waistband, take your waist measurement, add three inches, and this is the length of your waistband. Then decide how wide you want your waistband to be and double this measurement, and this is your waistband width. Now, this is a slightly different method of making a waistband than what I've shown in my videos before. So, right sides together, place the waistband onto the inner circle of the skirt like this. Line up the edges like this, and then pin the waistband on. Then, attach the waistband to the skirt by using a straight stitch. Then you're going to hem the unsewn edge of the waistband. Fold the edge of the waistband over half an inch, just like this, and then sew right along the length. Now to finish off the waistband, fold it down with the hemmed edge lining up with the stitches that you made when you attached your waistband to your skirt. Pin this together and sew around the waistband to completely attach it to the skirt. Make sure you're catching the fabric of the skirt underneath your stitches. You should also use a thread that matches your fabric. Now I didn't, but that was just so you could all see where I was stitching in this video. Then, you'll notice that you have raw edges on either side of your skirt. If you want to finish this off professionally, you can either overlock these edges, or if you have the room to do this, fold this edge in once, then twice, then sew over the top. Do this on both sides of your skirt. Now, fold your skirt in half, right sides together, just like this. Line those edges up and pin them together. Then get your zipper and line it up next to the skirt. Make a mark where the zipper ends. Below this mark, you will do normal length straight stitches. But above this mark, you will need to do what are called basting stitches. These are very long stitches used to temporarily hold your fabric together. After you sew this together, you will have created a seam that looks just like this. Fold the seam open. You can also iron the seam here if you're having trouble keeping it open. Then place your zipper onto your seam like this so that the teeth of the zipper line up with the middle of your seam. Then you will need to sew your zipper onto your skirt like this. Now if you have one, use a zipper foot, which looks like this. It makes sewing zippers really easy. Then carefully cut through those basting stitches that you made earlier in order to free your zipper. Now all we need to do is to hem the bottom of the skirt. I always hear that you're supposed to let a circle skirt hang for a day or two before you hem the bottom because the grain of the fabric will cause the hem to drop in certain spots and not others or something, but 
This is the skirt two days later and there really isn't a noticeable difference in the hem length. But you know, if there is and it bothers you, you can even out the bottom with a pair of scissors and then continue on. Now onto the hemming. Now there are three methods that you can use for hemming the bottom of your skirt. If you have an overlocker, go around the entire outer circle edge with the overlocker. Then fold the overlocked edge up inside the skirt and sew across it using a straight stitch all the way around the outer circle. So you can get yourself some pinking shears. These special scissors prevent fabric from fraying. So when you're cutting out the outer circle on your skirt, you should use these scissors instead. Then when hemming, simply fold the edge over about an inch like this and using a straight stitch, stopping every 10 inches or so to readjust, carefully sew all the way around your outer circle. So method three is just the last method of doing a hem. You can make something called a roll hem by folding the fabric over once and then twice. Then like in the other methods, sew all the way around the outer circle. And hopefully you should now have a finished half circle skirt. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos for more DIY projects and inspiration. See you next time. Bye.